brand new too. Okay. No. Okay, one more. Okay, we're not getting. Okay, I wanted to make it like go higher, but whatever. <sighs> Haven't done this in a while. Feels fitting. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season eight, eight, episode six. <sighs> we are at the very last episode of Game of Thrones. Wow, I did the drink this time because I know I said uh, I know I stopped doing it, but I. But it's something I did in the very first episode of Game of Thrones. I did it, and I did it for a little bit into it, but then I stopped. But I figured for the last episode of Game of Thrones, it'd be a little fitting, you know? A, a little throwback. You know, I, I'm excited, but I'm also really sad. Because I'm excited to watch the last episode, but at the same time, I'm like sad because it's gonna be over. Dude, I've gotten so used to watching Game of Thrones on a weekly basis. This is gonna, this is gonna feel so weird not doing it. And like, I know season eight isn't really the best, but like, I don't even care. I just like doing it. You know, I just like sitting down here, watching it with you guys, commentating on it. It's so, f and Game of Thrones has become my favorite thing to do on this channel, like honestly. I look forward to it every single week. Like, dude, what am I gonna do after Game of Thrones? Like, this has been carrying my channel for the last year. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> it's gonna feel so weird not doing it. But before we start this episode, I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting this channel and allowing me to continue Game of Thrones because without you guys, I there'd be no point to doing this, you know? You know, I have so much fun with it. I love seeing what you guys have to hear about every single episode. I read every single comment. I, I literally read every single one. I love reading your guys' comments except the mean ones. The nice ones I love. I love a lot. I look forward to them. I look forward, as soon as that video is uploaded, I'm like refreshing to see, okay, you know, like what are the comments? Like what are, like what do you guys think about this episode? You know, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Let me know if you've watched every single Game of Thrones video I did. Let me know from season one, episode one to now. But, but let's talk about last week's episode. And I will say this now, I have a lot to say about it, so this is probably going to be a pretty long intro, so so if you just want to skip right to when the episode starts, skip to this timestamp right here. They, it should be coming out of my hand, like, I, I should be able to do that. Anyways, so, in the last episode, Daenerys, she did a thing. She kind of did a thing. And do I agree with that thing? No. I think she should have stopped when they surrendered, but she kept going, right? I have a couple reasons why I think she did it. Now that I had like time to sit on the episode and kind of think about it. Okay, for one, obviously she had that she had that talk with John earlier in that episode, and she kind of just was like, "All right, fear it is. I guess the people won't love me. They love you. Fear it is, you know." And thing is, with that thing is, I think that's why in the moment when she heard the bells ring, it took her a second to make that decision. But in that moment. She knew she already decided on the fear part, but in that moment, she was kind of sitting on her dragon, like, you know, looking around before she did it. See, half of her was decided on that fear part of it. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make them fear me. And then the other half was, was that she doesn't, re I feel like she didn't want to do it, but she convinced herself. And Cersei had just killed Miss Sandy and her dragon. So, so that was a part of the decision also, but the people in the city have nothing to do with that. But she wanted to get back at Cersei, which, see, okay, that, that doesn't make sense then, because why would she take out the city and not Cersei herself? And when I was saying, destroy the building Cersei's in, I don't give a shit about that. Okay, yeah, like, I don't give a shit about that, like, that's one building, but, like, the collateral damage that's gonna cause, yeah, I mean, like, probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> But the other half of her knows she's a good person, knows that she doesn't want to do it. It's not like her at all to do this. But I guess she just decided that fear was the only way she was going to get this city or get the people under control, I guess, under her control. So, no, like I was also thinking about it. I th I would have been happier with the the decision for Danny to do that after the bells are rang. 
if it was a way more of a competitive fight if like let's say danny was losing and she kind of had no other choice but to do that then like yeah that justifies it a little bit more but at the same time for the amount of damage she did still like that's like the only way i'd be like okay i kind of see why she did that you know but i think that was the point of it to where it's like wait why is she doing this this makes no sense or whatever to show you how far she's fallen from her from where she's used to be because this this kind of came out of like this aggression came out of nowhere it feels like but i have no i did notice like uh, i did note i have noticed a gradual increase of how willing how far she's willing to go this was more of like it was more of like you know a very subtle one and then it just exploded with this decision i feel like so but she really became the thing she swore to destroy like literally that thing She's a lot like Anakin in that regard. Like, she's exactly like Anakin in that regard. She fell to the dark side. Like, it's literally, it's... I think the writers are going for something tragic like that, but, like, this kind of came out of nowhere. It didn't really hit. But honestly, as, like, a viewer and for, like, entertainment value, I thought it was amazing. It was fun. It was fun as hell to watch. But that's because this is a TV show and it's not real life, so... Like, if this... Okay, if this were a football game, she was up 35-0 in the middle of second quarter. That's how that's how this battle was going, okay? And then when she and then once she did all that extra damage, she was basically just padding her stats at that point. That's all she was doing, just padding her stats. And like Tyrion was advising her really hard not to do this, right? But okay. Also, I think I think what played a part in her making that decision too was See, Tyrion has he's told her to do a couple of things and she's listened to them and they all kind of failed. So I think by Tyrion telling her not to do this in her mind she was like no she's like no this dude has failed me so many times he's wrong about everything I, this is the one time i'm not going to listen to him but this is the one time he would have been right because think about it if she doesn't do that to the city and she stops when the bells ring wouldn't the people of the city love her for that like you literally spared them like you've oh, like you took over the city but you killed Cersei, you freed the city, you freed everyone from Cersei. Now, and now it's up to you to prove that you're a good queen. I'm sure you would prove that to them relatively quick within like a year or something. And then they'd be like, oh, she's actually a great person. You know, like I'm sure the people of the city know that you could have done that. Like they're not like they're, they would believe you that you could have done that. You didn't have to show them you could like they would have believed you. I feel like <laughs> like they saw the dragon. <laughs> And they saw what the dragon was doing up until the bells rang. You know, like the people in the city, they don't know you. They're not going to love you right away. Like the people that love John, they didn't love him right away. Tormund fucking hated John. The wildlings hated John, but he proved to them over time again and again why he's a good dude. And over time, they started to respect them more and more. You know, this wasn't this this dynamic between John and everyone else. It was not like this day one. He earned it. And I'm sure Danny would have done a phenomenal job earning it if she spared everyone in the city and then just had to prove it to them. That's all you had to do is just prove it to them. And you're capable of doing that. I feel like she is. And like, okay, thinking about this from like John's perspective now, no fucking way John's gonna be cool with this. No freaking way. He's gonna press her so hard, dude. Like, <sighs> Viserys tried to tell him. In the beginning of last episode, Viv Viserys tried to tell him, and Viserys got killed for it. So, <sighs> you know, John, John was down there. He saw everything that happened. And also, when she was doing, when she was burning down the city, she pro she probably killed a lot of their own men too, a lot of northern men and a lot of the unsullied and a lot of the Dothraki just by accident. You know, John's gonna be like, "What the f?" You know. It's like when the Battle of the Bastards, John was fighting Ramsay. In the middle of that fight, Ramsay just said, okay, rain down arrows, and that's gonna kill his own men too. Ramsay doesn't give a shit. So it's like, this puts her on the level of like Ramsay and the Mad King and Cersei now. Like, John, John will do something about this. I guarantee you that. If his character is consistent, up and through the last episode, he will do something about it. And now this just proves to John, oh, she's not gonna be a good queen. She's willing to wipe out a good chunk of the city. Like what the fuck after they surrendered? But also, can you really trust the soldiers to not just like snake you? Like they surrender, then you're like, cool. And then they just start fighting you. Like, I mean, I really doubt it. They know they lost. They know they lost. There's no way they do that. But like, but you never know what the Lannisters, so. And one thing too that stuck out to me is like when Cersei was watching it, it kind of looked like she couldn't even believe what was happening. You know, like this was something she wouldn't even have done herself if she was capable of it. Like, yeah, she blew up the septum, but like, 
she didn't wipe out the entire city. Like, she wouldn't wipe out the entire city, you know? I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Hope you enjoyed that rant. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as early access to nothing. But I forgot, there's nothing after this. Okay. <sighs> I accidentally said it. But anyways, let's get started. Yeah, Tyrion's extremely disappointed. Yeah, the, the civilians, all this unnecessary death. Wait, is this fool? Is this dude burnt and they're still alive? Oh my god. I like how it's just silence. I hope it's just like silence for like five minutes. Like they don't need to say anything for us to understand their reaction to this. We could just tell by their body language and their face. And their facial expressions. It's not safe. I'm going alone. <sighs> okay, and like, do you know how long it's gonna take to rebuild this goddamn city? It was not worth it. I sentence you to die. Grewa. These men surrendered. It's over. These men. Are... It is not yep. over until the queen's enemies are defeated. How much more defeated do you want them to be? They're on their knees. They are breathing. <sighs> mm -hmm. Easy. Dude, that's a clean kill shot on John right now. We should speak with the queen. All right, Tyrion, taking all the all of it into where he had so many memories here. They had the small council meetings where he talked to his father in this chair. That Cersei. You know, I'm surprised his room even survived. Like as much as it did. Oh, he's gonna. Go, oh, he's trying to f see if Jamie and Cersei made it out by chance. Bro, don't tell me he digs up their bodies or whatever. Come on. Imagine he's digging through it and he just finds like Jamie's handle. His body would still be connected to it. No! Fuck. <laughs> Come on. They actually did it. That's like all Tyrion wanted, dude, was for Jamie to survive. No. Damn. I mean, obviously, he didn't want the city to burn either and all the people in it. So, But that was more of like a 80 20, I'd say. Damn, I figured their bodies would be a lot more mangled. They're like at the top of the pile too. Shouldn't they be at the bottom? I mean, the pile's not that big, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Like they're they're not as buried as I expected them to be. Damn, Danny said this shit up quick. Oh yeah, Arya. He probably hates Danny now. Would not be surprised if Arya killed her. Wait, oh wait, it's snowing too. I just realized. Winter made it to King's Landing. Damn. Oh wait, is that Ash? No, I think that's Ash. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Anhan. <laughs> Dude, I mean, this is a victory, but it doesn't feel like a victory, dude. Tyrion, I see the look in your eyes. Don't try anything. You're a liberator as well. You free the people of King's Lion. Bro, there's no one left. People of the world. Well, if that's what you call liberating, then I don't know if you really should be do that. From Winterfell, to don't. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you talking about? I mean, and uh, I guess she rules over Winterfell too. But dude, they're chilling. You don't even need to go there. You don't need to go anywhere near Winterfell. You're chilling with them, okay? Grave in no Will you break the wheel with me? <sighs> okay, John here is. Well, John doesn't even know what she's saying. <laughs> well, if John knows what she just said. He would not let her go from place to place and do the same thing because that's that's what he assumes. Like, that's what I would assume she's going to go and do. You know, fuck no. You're not talking her out of it. You have to kill her before she goes to everywhere else and does the same exact thing she did here. Oh, Tyrion, what are you doing? I know Tyrion knows a little bit, but he's not like, can't really speak it that well. You freed your brother. Maybe. <laughs> you committed treason. <sighs> Dude, you're not off, Tyrion. And you slaughtered a city. Mm-hmm. What? Who's the bad person here? Who's the bad guy here? Uh, 
Does that mean he... Does that mean, uh... Bro, I know that look in her eyes. God. Like, you know she didn't want to say that right there. She was like... Mm, John? I feel the tension right now. I feel it. Uh... <laughs> It's like, how the fuck did you get right here? What happened? I came to kill Cersei. Came for the wrong queen. Got there. She knows who you are. You'll always be a threat to her. And I know a killer when I see one. Did you bring any wine? <laughs> <laughs> I betrayed my closest friend and watched him burn. Jangled my lover. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I betrayed my queen. You didn't. I did, and I'd do it again now that I've seen what I've seen. Mm-hmm. I chose my fate. The people of King's Landing did not. No more than your Tywin Lannister. My father was an evil man. My sister was an evil woman. Pile up all the bodies of all the people they ever killed. It's not as well. There still won't be half as many as our beautiful queen slaughtered in a single day. So she left her no choice. The moment... No, she did The battle was over. She saw her friend beheaded. She saw her dragon shot out of the sky. And she burned down a... Sea. Easy to judge when you're standing far from the battlefield. Would you have done it? No. What? Would you have burned the city down? I don't know. So, you know, you want to have... Does it matter what I do? It matters more than anything. Mm -hmm. She believes her destiny is to build a better world. Forever truly believed it, wouldn't you kill whoever stood between you and paradise? <sighs> well, when you frame it that way. <laughs> but not innocent people. Because they didn't stand in our way. She went out of her way to do that, if anything. I know you love her. But it's a hard pill to swallow. You are the shield that guards the realms of men. Who is the greatest threat to the people now? Mm hmm. It's a terrible thing I'm asking. It's also the right thing. You think I'm the last man she'll execute? No, not at all. Who is more dangerous than the rightful heir to the Iron Throne? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she probably have, try and have John killed pretty soon. That's her decision. She is the queen. Mm. And your sisters. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she'll have them killed too, for sure. I'm bending the knee. Sisters will be loyal to the throne. Doesn't matter. Sansa told me the truth about you. Mm-hmm. And you have to choose now. Does John do it? I think he does. I think he does it. Okay, this looks like this this looks and sounds like snow right here. It sounds like he's walking through snow right now. It's probably it's probably snow and ash. It's probably, it's, oh, what the dragon was under that? Damn. Oh, uh, is he about it? It's a dragon sleeping in front of Danny's room to protect her she's going to danny is he gonna do it oh there it is where is it? has she she hasn't sat on it yet huh <laughs> the music dude this should feel rewarding right now like this should feel a lot better than it really does when i was a girl my brother told me it was made with a thousand swords from aegon's fallen enemies what do a thousand swords look like in the mind of a little girl who can't count to 20? <laughs> I imagined a mountain of swords too high to climb. It used to be a lot more, like in House of the Dragon, it was, there was a lot more swords around it to the side. Lannister to prisoners in the street. Mm. They said they were acting on your orders. It was necessary. Necessary? Have you been down there? Have you seen children, little children burned? I tried to make peace with Cersei. <sighs> She used their innocence as a weapon against me. He conspired behind my back with my enemies. How have you treated people who've done the same to you, even mm. when it broke your heart? Forgive all of them. Make them see they made a mistake. Make them understand. Please, Danny. Oh. The world we need is a world of mercy. It has to be. And it will be. Not easy to see something that's never been before. The other people who think they know what's good, they don't get to choose. Ooh. You are my queen now and always. Don't want to not mean that shit, dog. Yo, dude, he could barely get that out. <gasps> oh, 
No! <laughs> he did it! <gasps> he fucking did it! <laughs> hey, it had to be done. <laughs> It, kind of, it really had to be done, dog. He didn't want to do it, but he knew. Welcome oh, the dragon field or something. Okay, wait. How was he going to explain this to Grey Worm? And I go, yeah, he has to go. He has to dip. Grab Tyrion and dip. Oh, fuck. Dude, don't tell me this dragon just kills John right here. Do not. I'll be, I will turn this off right now if this dragon kills John right here. I will turn this shit off. I mean, it's, it's really sad for the dragon, though. Like, her mom, the dragon's mom just fucking died. And it's like trying to wake her up. You know, like, get up. But, no. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Mm. You can feel the pain in that dragon. No, 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 no! Ooh, okay, missed him. Okay, okay. Got the throne, though. Nah, the throne will be fine. Okay, and intentionally wanted to decide. Yeah, the dragon's like, fuck this throne. I have no idea what it is or anything, but it's just like, I don't like this piece of metal in here. Oh, it's actually melting it, damn. I mean, yeah, dragon's fire breath is definitely hot. Oh my god. We're showing it at the lava, holy shit. I guess, yeah, the dragon's fire breath is hot enough. I guess I was like, if Danny can't have the throne, no one can. Dude, wouldn't her soldiers, like, wouldn't the Unsullied be, like, kind of worried now? Be like, yo, what the fuck is going on up there? Like, let's go check that out, you know? Oh, little, little fingernail picking her up. Oh, by the back foot. <laughs> the dragon plan to do with her just like i don't know hope it shows us imagine it just dropped her <laughs> imagine it just dropped her body in the ocean <laughs> what the fuck there's a brain here sansa sam brain what the f where's john he's our prisoner hmm. yeah i figured they yeah i figured they catch him i guess they did I swore to follow Daenerys Targaryen. She swore to follow a tyrant. She freed us mm -hmm. from a tyrant. We need justice. Jon Snow cannot go free. Side. Do I not hear to speak? Mm. This fate is for our king to decide. Or our queen. We don't have a king or queen. How is this guy still alive? My lords and ladies. Oh, he wants to be the <laughs> Oh my god, he wants to. I suppose this is the most important moment of our lives. Decide today, will reverberate through the annals of history. Wait, that's Robin. Oh my god. Bro, he's hot now. A veteran of two wars. And I like to think my experience has led to some small skill <laughs> in statecraft. And Uncle, understand. Shut the fuck up. Please sit. Hey, he tried. He tried. You gotta respect it. He tried. <laughs> We have to choose someone. Um, <clears throat> why just us? Have a vote. The decision about what's best for everyone should be left to... Well, everyone. Nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. And who has a better story? Than Bran the Broken. Oh, Bran. The boy who fell from a high tower and lived and became the three-eyed raven. He is our memory. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he can't be. He can't be the king because he's a three-eyed raven, right? Who better to lead us into the future? No interest in ruling, and he can't father children. Mm. Sons of kings can be cruel and stupid, as yeah. you well know. Oh yeah, she 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 knows. If we choose you, will you lead the seven kingdoms to the best of your abilities from this day until your last day? Why do you think I came all this way? Oh shit! He actually wow! Holy shit! No, oh, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, if Brandon does become king. You know what he could just do? Every single decision he makes, he could just go back in time and see if this decision's been made before. Be like, okay, how did that end up for them? You know, and then just go based off that. Both will remain an independent kingdom. 
as it was for thousands. All hail Bran the Broken. First of his name, King of the Andals and the... All hail Bran the Broken! I'm gonna be honest, this scene is not hitting for me at all. It just doesn't really hit. You will be my hand. No, no. Devils, choose anyone else. I choose you. You cannot. I'm king. This man is a criminal. I'm king, I don't give a fuck. He's made many terrible mistakes. He's going to spend the rest of his life fixing them. Oh, our new king has chosen to send you to the Night's Watch. Oh, wow, that's, wow, that's great. Going right back to where we started. Oh yeah, there's still a Night's Watch? I mean, shit, we can make a new one if there's the... Was it right? What I did doesn't feel right. Yeah. It probably was for the best, though. This is kind of fucked up, because Tyrion told him to do it, and he did it, and now he's being sent to the... Like, it's fucked. He's taking the fall for Tyrion, basically. Like, like I don't think Grey Worm knows that Tyrion told Jon to go and do it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have settled for the agreement of with Tyrion. Ooh, he's fitted. I mean, shit, is he gonna go back and be a Lord Commander again? Because, like, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Or is he gonna be a steward all over again? What's west of Westeros? I don't know. No one knows. That's where all the maps stop. That's where I'm going. It's actually the edge of the Earth, because, you know, the Earth is flat, so you're just gonna fall right off into space. I mean, the Earth in real life isn't flat, but I like to think in the Game of Thrones universe it is, so... <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. You were exactly where you were supposed to be. Because it all worked out in the end. We're here now, and that's all that matters. Sir Jamie Lannister. Oh, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna edit it. North to join Winterfell. Aww. I like how she's the one doing it. She has to add to his story, you know. She knows him pretty well too, dude. Died protecting his queen. I mean, it's not wrong, but like, it feels wrong though. I mean, technically, it's the honorable thing to do when you look at it, when you're reading it through the book, but when you know like the full context, and like, he killed a king by betraying him, and then he died protecting his queen. Sounds like just reading that from the book. It it sounds like he redeemed himself for killing the Mad King, but like, yeah, we know not really. But she wants history to remember Jamie as an honorable man, because that's what he he was. Oh, Sam's an Easter now, officially. What's this? A song of ice and fire. Mm-hmm. Archmaester Ebro's history of the wars following the death of King Robert. I helped him with the title. Hmm. What does he say about me? Mm. I don't believe you're mentioned. We appear to be missing a master of whisperers and a master of laws, master of war. Yes. It was the master of coin. I hope it's Braun. <laughs> he was last spotted flying east. To Farther Ireland. away, the better. Mm-hmm. Come back and burn us all down. Perhaps I can find him. As you wish. You'll... <laughs> Braun's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you could just... Oh, he's a knight! Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Long may he. Sir Braun of the Blackwater, Lord of High Guard, Lord Paramount of the Reach, and Master. He got High Guard. Oh, he's Master of Coin. Let's go. <laughs> this feels weird, dude. This feels so weird seeing him at the council. You Master of Grammar now too, Grand Maester. <clears throat> I don't know. This feels like we're playing pretend right now. Like find the best builders and set them to the task. Oh, speaking of builders, all the best brothels burned down. The Master of Coin is willing to fund reconstruct. <laughs> <laughs> a gas and a honeycomb into a brothel. I love how bronze on the council. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, John doesn't look too enthusiastic about being back. So they do see each other again. He said they wouldn't. He goes up to Tormi like, bro, you'll never fucking believe why I'm back. <laughs> Imagine he just walks up to you like Egret's sister. <laughs> oh, ghost. They brought him back. Oh my god, what happened to your fucking ear? Was it always gone? No, I don't think it was. They're going out. I mean, there's nothing to worry about anymore. So, 
on the other side of the wall. Let's take it in the music one last time. Okay. Whoa, that was loud. Well, that was Game of Thrones. Season 8, Episode 6. Alright. So, that was Season 8. I know a lot of people didn't really like Season 8. But one thing I can say for sure, for absolute certainty, Season 7 and 8, better than the Star Wars prequels better it's it's better it's still better i don't know that's not really saying much but like i just want to put that out there it's better i i like that way more it's better so like that's kind of what i was expecting not gonna lie like when people okay when i first heard season seven and eight were terrible i was just like dude it cannot be bad it cannot be worse than star wars pre sequels i mean if i said prequels i meant sequels the disney ones not all disney ones rogue one was pretty good Mandalorian is pretty good, but like, you know which ones. Like, I was kind of expecting, like, I was like, it cannot be worse than that. It cannot be worse. And it wasn't, in my opinion. It was not. I mean, that's just one watch, though. Maybe if I, like, watch it again, you know, or, like, watch YouTube videos talking about it, they can kind of point out more flaws that, like, I didn't really notice. They can go deeper into the flaws of Season 7 and 8, and then I can probably be like, oh, maybe, but... And I don't think it is. After watching season seven and eight, I walk away feeling, yeah, that was rushed. That was very rushed. You know, it had potential, but it was rushed. Like they had they had a story, but they, they just sped through it. You know, they didn't really go into detail on the much or anything. Some decisions were kind of weird. Yeah, some decisions were kind of weird. But like when I, when I left the theater after watching The Last Jedi, I, I left that theater thinking that was bad. That was very bad, you know? Like, no doubt in my mind that was bad. Like, I did not see any potential with that movie. The movie did nothing. Nothing happened in that movie. I mean, some stuff did happen, but like, the, the storyline did not move in that movie at all. Like, that script was no progress. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna stop talking about Star Wars. Anyway, okay, one thing I don't really know how I feel about is like, Bran being king. It kind of seems like the right choice because he's so objective, but I feel like since he's so objective, it's like he's just not going to give a fuck about anything, you know? Like, if it, like, like if there's a conflict, I feel like he's just going to be like, it's what needs to happen. If it doesn't happen, we will not, we will not be where we need to be or some, some shit like that. It's like, dog, no, like, what's the fucking solution to this? Like, these two houses are about to go to war. What are we doing about this, you know? So, he's too objective to be king. But then I feel like the council will just make all those decisions for him because like he has no experience. Like he has, like he's gonna make horrible decisions just because he has no experience. But then again, he could just warp back in time and be like, okay, I wanna make this choice. I'm split between these two different decisions. Let me go to a time back in the past where this, either of these decisions were made and let me see how it worked out both ways and then I'll go base. I don't know, you could do that. I don't know, that's pretty OP in my opinion. Like that, that's gonna save a lot of lives in my opinion. And then he could tell his council meeting what he saw and then they could be like, oh yeah, and then we could all decide then, something like that. I will say though, there were a lot of good visuals. I enjoyed that part of it. See, here's how I think they probably should have done it. Season seven should have been a full 10 episodes. You know, I mean, okay, in a perfect ideal world, this is how I like I would have liked to see it have happened. Season seven should have been a full 10 episodes. And then season eight, okay. I would have divided them, I would have divided season eight into two different seasons. I would have made about the Night King and killing him and like it leading up to that battle. And I probably would have had the battle last over two episodes, to be honest. Like two and a half. Like really like not like drag it out more than it needs to be, but like really make it like a hard fought battle. Because I feel like it like the episode was long, but like I don't know, I feel like they could have done more with it. The lead up to it felt pretty rushed. So I would have liked to see that storyline over an entire season. Of like you know this battle's happening anytime now. It's just when does it happen, I guess. And then Danny doing what she did, the King's Landing, I would have liked to see that over an entire season like we defeat the night king at the end of season eight ideally and then season nine that's when she goes to king's landing talks to cersei whatever then just doesn't burn down the city the next day i guess like i don't know stretch that out however you want but 
I feel like that should have been like its own season to be honest and that should have been the climax. Like imagine this season ended a full 10, like a full season nine of 10 episodes ended with her doing that to the city. I feel like that would have been pretty good, you know, just just make it longer, add more detail to it, add more character development. If you want to do that with Danny, add more character development to her so it makes more sense, you know, and then season 10 should have been after the aftermath of her doing that in I don't know in theory that sounds like a good idea like right now that sounds like a pretty solid idea but that might be a doctored idea I don't know obviously added more storylines in there so it's not just focused on the one uh, you know what I mean but then again I guess like justifying killing her for for John he has to do like right away otherwise the longer he waits the more unlikely it becomes that he does it so I don't know it was just a really quick thought I don't know Anyway, what do you think? What do you think? What would have been your ideal way to do that? To like spread this out if you had to? Let me know, please. You know what's also really funny? You know what's... Danny never sat on the throne. She she touched it, but she never sat on it. When he killed Danny, the dialogue in that moment wasn't that good to be honest. Like, yeah. like, like I kind of saw it coming, not gonna lie. Like, I wasn't really feeling the emotions in that scene. And like Jamie, I remember in season three, Jamie had that conversation with Brienne, right? Where you really get to learn a lot about Jamie. And like Jamie opens up and is extremely vulnerable in that moment when they're like in the hot tub kind of. And like he told he told Big B, the, like pretty much the reason why he killed the Mad King is like he didn't want to stand by why he killed thousands of women and men and children. Like Jamie did the right thing in that moment to save the people. And then it's just like here, he doesn't give a fuck about them. And like, yeah, it's totally ruined his arc. I'm not mad that Cersei and Jaime died. I'm just kind of annoyed by the way they died. Like, I think they should have deserved better deaths. Like being crushed to death, I guess. I don't know. I'm not too happy with that, to be honest. Theon had a better death than them. So, <sighs> okay. And like one thing Tyrion said about before making Bran the King was like, who has a better story than Bran the Broken? Jon? Like, John should have been king. Like, but I guess, like, John just killed Daenerys. So, well, obviously, Grey Worm would never accept that or anything. So, it's like, okay, I get it. I guess. And, like, making Bronn master a coin. Like, I thought that was funny. But, like, no, that should not be. That, realistically, no. Like, no. No. He's not responsible enough. And, like, Arya didn't even do anything. Like, when she got to King's Landing, she didn't do anything. Like, she wanted to. She was going to go kill Cersei. But, like, when she got here... She really didn't do anything. And like, why did Bran even accept being king? He like, I, I thought he didn't want to be. I don't know. It was an entertaining season. It was entertaining. I see the flaws it had. I see why people didn't like it, but I see why some, but I see why people could have liked it. I saw the potential on it, but just wasn't executed very well. You know why they made Bran king? Because he has, he has his own chair. That's why. I'm just kidding. And honestly, I can say that this is the best show I've ever seen. Like, I would put the show over Breaking Bad, to be honest. Breaking Bad was amazing, but it's been a while since I've seen it. Like, I saw Breaking Bad when it first came out, so maybe I need a refresher on it, but I don't remember it making me feel the same emotion this this show made me feel at all, not even close. And like, I don't get attached to characters that easily. Like, it takes a while, and like, I want, I, I love Rob, dude. Him, man i love john like honestly they're inspiring characters honestly they're very inspiring characters there's only okay there's only one other character that i love more than from game of thrones and there's only one other character that i hate more like love to hate more can you guess who those characters are i feel like it's pretty obvious if you watch a good amount of my videos but that's anakin and palpatine I, Anakin is my favorite character of all time, and Palpatine is my most hated character of all time. Like, love to hate Palpatine because of what he did to Anakin. Mm, it's so good what he did, but like Joffrey and Ramsey, I hated them. Don't get me wrong. Like, besides Palpatine, those are the characters I've hated the most out of anything I've ever seen, besides Palpatine. And individually, I wouldn't really say they are close to the hate to the love the hate i have for palpatine but together my emotions for ramsey and joffrey it comes close to palpatine but it doesn't beat him doesn't beat him but it comes close which is which says a lot and then same thing with like rob and john i love rob and john 
two of my favorite characters I've ever seen. Top three, two and three. I don't know what order, but they're two and three. Anakin's number one. But the love I have for them together doesn't outweigh the love I have for Anakin, though. I, ho I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that also says a lot because I've been a Star Wars fan since I could remember, since I was a little, little lad, you know? I've been, I've been emotionally attached to Star Wars. Yeah, like 16, 15, 16 years of my life. Yeah, I've been attached to Star Wars for that long. So I've been, so I've had a lot of time to emotionally, for Anakin to emotionally grow on me. And after one watch of Game of Thrones, Rob and John are like two and three. That says a lot, to be honest. <laughs> You know, now I can finally like watch all the videos on Game of Thrones that I've never able to watch before because I didn't want to because I didn't want to accidentally catch a spoiler. But now I can watch them, which worry free. So that's nice. I'm going to watch them right now. <laughs> Ever since I started, I always got recommended like a Game of Thrones video at least every other day. And I was just like, do not recommend, do not recommend, not interested, because I was like, I don't want to see a title and thumbnail. That's a spoiler. I've seen like title. I saw a title and thumbnails that were like, okay that might be a spoiler i'm not gonna look at it look away you know don't even think about what you just saw don't think about it and like thinking back on it now like yeah they were like spoilers they weren't like major deaths or anything but they were like like thinking like knowing what i know now how it plays out yeah that was a pretty big spoiler not gonna lie but it's like i don't know the context of like when and where and why it happens so it's like okay other reactors reacting to the battle of the bastards you know like the thumbnail of john fighting it's like okay i know that happens eventually like He's in a fat battle, but I don't know when, I don't know why or anything like that. So I'm just not thinking about it because I don't want to like overthink it or whatever. But, but yeah, that was Game of Thrones. The entire series. We're done. Amazing series. The series was amazing. The, like the, the series as a whole, all of it, it was amazing. One through six, God tier, seven and eight had potential. I still enjoyed them though. I still enjoyed seven and eight pretty much. But also, I will I will do a tier ranking of all the seasons and characters if you guys want me to I can do that in its own separate video. Let me know if you want me to do that because I'm down. I'm down to do that. But anyways, comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching. I'm about to lose like half my subs and half my monthly views.